Hello everyone, my name is Romat and today we're going to do a Talia guide on bot lane, the long awaited guide, I don't know why my chat is here, but yeah, I'm going to explain it to you how I generally play, if I'm filled, let's say, because I generally play mid, but I'm going to explain it to you how I play this, why, why, did, why did you do that, but yeah. Okay, so let's start with summoner spells. I want you to generally pick either heal or ignite if your support has exhaust, okay? Because you want to go for the kill. Now, as for runes, I go for Dark Harvest, Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Piscuit Delivery Time, Warp Tonic, and these rune stats. Now, you can go uh, for Electrocute if you feel that you want to be more safe uh, in terms of proccing it more often, but you can play with Dark Harvest as well. As for items, I'm going the standard build, Dorang, Sudan, Sork, Shoes, uh, Orb, Rabadons, Zonia and such. But you can play with GLP, a lot of people should play with GLP if they cannot hit their combo. But having a Blitzcrank and a tank support, it's the most required part of pulling off this combo. Because you won't do anything properly with the Nami or a Janna or a Soraka. So please, do not play Talia bot lane with those champions. Now, I'm against a Varus Leona, which is a kill combo. And so... And so we need to be careful because I need to win the trades at level two and three by actually uh, by actually full comboing the virus. Or if please can hit a hook, then we got it right. But we want to hit our combo every time. Oops, every time that uh, please crank hits the hook. So, so that's the focus. Wait, I need to. Okay, right. Yeah, I'm gonna put myself here. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna miss that. Yes. I want to reach level 2, so that's why I'm good. But generally you'd want to try to kill the ADC, not the support, especially if it's a tank gun. If it's a squishy support, then whichever your support engages on. So, the Lia bot is not the free win ticket. Okay, remember that. Uh... Back, back. So yeah, we talked about uh, runes, we talked about uh, builds, generally, and if you go for GLP you have better setup, but I like more Ludens, and also I like in this context a uh, Dark Harvest, but remember, if it's on cooldown you do not have to fight it, so you can play a little bit more defensive, you can ping your, uh, your support to back off. Uh, when Dark Harvest is on cooldown, you do not deal that much damage. As opposed to the extra, oh my god, I misclicked to the extra 50 damage from the Dark Harvest. Also, I created recently a list. I'm gonna back off now. A list with my mistakes that I generally do, and I encourage you uh, to make a list as well. Uh, on the list, there could be things such as uh, such as getting those cannon minions, as I tend to miss them. Uh, such as. Uh, better farming such as hitting your combo and, st and stuff like that and you also can practice some combos in the practice tool if you feel like you're not doing better and yeah that would be also a tip and now I need to be careful because if Leona engages and I am not uh, in the tower range I want this uh, okay so don't have enough auto attacks damage uh, we need to be careful so that Leona does not engage on us because the enemy support can instantly melt you and it can create a lot of uh, bad things for you. Okay, all we gotta do is either try a combo and get the kill on Virus or on Leona or pull her under tower. Okay, that was weird. But normally in a tank matchup it's a bit more harder than usual, but we can actually hit now. Okay. This, get that. They have a word clearly. But also ping your support every time your uh, W is on cooldown, right? Go, 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 go. Okay. I don't know why she randomly turned. I got that. So we, we went right, we went fine for it. That was a perfect W and the perfect flash. You just have to wait for your jungler. If you have CC available, you can combo with him. Uh, Leona just went into us, probably 
not wanting to escape the impending death by Flash, because we would probably catch her, having the hook, having the ammo, having the ammo pulled, and also my W. So what I did there was wait. We wanted to secure the kill on Leona, so we waited. That was our task. And normally you should you should do that as often as you can. Uh, you just gotta wait until there is an opportunity for a clear W, so that's what I'm generally doing. And as you can see this pays off. And now I didn't even want to target Leona there, I actually did it towards the Varus, which was fine. But we can we can do it like this. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, fine, fine. I wanted to say that I'm out of mana. But we can set up for our support as well as you can see. And that actually gives us the much needed advantage. Now we see Sejuani is on the top side, you also have to be careful towards the visual part. Okay, I missed that sense because he's paying attention. thrown maybe a W to save him but it's fine. Now for items as I said we go for the standard build, a lost chapter into maybe if you are far ahead maybe a Mejai, in, well a ring into Mejai because uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right but yeah because if you're ahead you're gonna want this especially in bottling because you're gonna keep scaling and you're gonna keep getting kills. If you get one kill with a tanky jungle you're gonna get those kills again and again because they are uh, they need to back off if they die once or twice and if you get a bit fed then you can create massive advantage I'm not sure if I okay see it starts it starts to work with the <laughs> with the get cannons movement mistake list that I made but yeah normally now we can abuse our passive and we don't really care about mana spending that much anymore again a secondary that you can use in matchups that are not so aggressive it's inspiration, not these two. Inspiration with presence of mind, since that rune will actually enable you much, much more mid game. Because you want to spam spells, right? And that is the number one rune that can allow you to do that. I'm actually, I'm actually tilting right here. Okay, Let's get the kill on that. And it's fine. See, as you can see, you hit the W only when you have proper setup. You don't need, you don't need to do anything else. Why? Okay, sure, not it, so that's why he did it. You don't need anything else because it's rather on mid lane where you have to hit it. Here, you don't really need to. And for mid lane, I recommend GLP as well. As you can see, because of the runes that I had, I actually survived there. And if I see a Z, I will instantly ult. Because I actually used, again, my biscuit and my potion, I actually survived there. So very important. I also have biscuits again. I don't have flash. Okay, I'm seeing Z. Flash <laughs> and yeah. Okay, you can actually get the kill there. Yep, easy kill. Now we are already stomping this, but the main purpose of you, your main purpose on bot lane, is besides trying to get the kill because you're a kill lane. Back off. It is to try to roam when you can because you're at Leah and you have your ult. And as you can see here in this context, 
We can actually go, 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 go. Come on, what? So I have the salt, which actually can enable me to do lots of beautiful stuff, such as killing this Leona, for instance. And I don't want to move forward because there is a Sijani. I didn't want to get full comboed. Okay, I can go for this. They probably have word around because I put my vision word there. It's okay, unless Sijani steals it. No longer okay. I'm gonna flash here because I didn't want to get instantly killed by the combo, by the stun, stun, stun combo. So it's a safe flash because if they all ulted me, I would have been completely CC'd. And also, these biscuits are extremely useful in those contexts and against ignites. That would have been a good hook. So we're doing we're doing pretty fine here. And now we want this. Okay. Also, don't be afraid to recall. Because if you lose your bounty, that's not really healthy, is it? Just used ultimate for no reason. I'd rather recall and be with the bounty on my head than you know than just die randomly. I rather prefer to lose some CS and maybe a plate sometimes than give my 400 gold bounty, which is kind of like two plates for someone. And if I'm careful here, I can actually ult, actually ult and get the kill as a trick here and you can see you can see I actually one shot that bars it's actually tons of damage and I single-handedly killed them both I mean bliss kind followed but <laughs> if they had flash they might have escaped if they had flash they might have tried to play but as you can see the context, it did not happen and this allows me to get more and more stuff for me and to boost my uh, stats massively. Come on, take that. There you go, support. And now we're gonna get another plate, maybe two, because we have this. Okay, massive damage. And uh, there is a Shen ult. And we got another plate. That's all I needed, his ult. You, you can see how this can work if you make it work, but against good opponents, I do not actually recommend it because at the higher elos, people should understand by the third matchup or game how to play against this. And at higher elos, you're gonna meet the same people sometimes and you're not gonna keep winning and keep winning. I need to sell this biscuit to get Oblivion off faster and I need to replace this vision word with a more aggressive one. I do not recommend to OTP this if you are an ADC because eventually the Leah bot might not work anymore. Tanks, support tanks might become useless at some point because they cycle through it. Like at some point tanks are strong, at some point enchanters are strong. Right now supports that I have tons of heal on top lane as you can see Soraka top. That, that also works. And there are cycles, okay? So if you main and become an OTP of Talia, look how beautiful this is. If you become an OTP of Talia, specifically for bot lane, then you're not gonna accomplish much when she gets changed or nerfed. You need, you need to play normal ADCs because usually this is just a phase. And most of the time you're going to see at Worlds, for example, ADC being played. Most of the time. Okay, so we got first tower as well, and we can we can actually move a little bit more aggressive, like right here. Oops. And so your main focus besides winning the lane is to actually keep an eye on the Drake, get as many Drakes as you can. I'm here if she jumps. On. Okay. And we 
got another kill there. But yeah, playing Tilia bot, it's not necessarily an easy thing. It might be a strong thing if you play with a duo that plays generally now Tilius, Leona, Blitz, and stuff like that. But if you play in solo queue and you get an Ami OTP and you only play Tilia bot lane, then it might become a little more difficult to win. Okay? Or if you're top laner and mid laner pick AP and you also pick Tilia bot. Or your jungler and mid laner AP. 3 AP in the same team is not really a good thing. You don't really have you don't really have AD damage in this context because Shen is not really yeah he deals AD damage but he's not a bruiser. So if they stack magic resist we need to get all the magic pen that we can and we're not really gonna have that much success with that. Because eventually their magic resist will be too much for even for the Fed to yeah. So gotta consider team comp as well. And while it is a strong maybe strong combo right now I believe it's very niche and its success comes from the fact that people just don't know how to play against it. I haven't seen one ADC that actually goes for cleanse against the Leona in well, this context. Oops, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Back off. No longer back off, I'm seeing blitz, I'm seeing blitz. She goes nowhere, that's clear. Unless she jumps on Annie. She did, but it's fine. It's fine, really. And now it's this Drake. And what objectives you want to keep moving on the map? We don't want to stagnate too much. Tilted at this point, I would be too. If there would be a 9 0 Tilia with 16 stacks in 70 minutes, you can see why I choose, by the way, this. Uh, I choose this rune, and you should choose it, especially in lower levels where Fiesta tend to happen a lot. But you should, if you choose it, remember it's not eerie, it's not electrocute, it has a long cooldown. Read the cooldown 45 seconds resets to 1.5 1 .5 seconds on takedown. It's a major, major thing, and I Call too fast because I'm focused too much on talking. Should have recalled in like 200 gold, uh, 150 somewhere there. And they are destroying mid now, and I'm suspecting a mid 20 surrender because, well, they are close to losing. I want to take this actually. I mean, because in every killer you're gonna see people winning randomly. But Blitz is so far ahead right now because of our combo that it's ridiculous. Yeah, just follow this advice with a grain of salt. And oops. what is she? Okay. I mean, that Tibber is actually dealing the most damage there. And Chariot is on his own world. I'm gonna back off from here. Why am I getting pinged? I know I have heal. That's the mistake that I probably did. But I was a bit far away. I, would, I want flash to save. And I'm only just. I mean, he didn't have. Uh, he probably had a shutdown on top of his set, but I still want flash from it. If you flash a Tulia, you lose your most powerful ability because Tulia has no escapes. If you flash, you're just gonna die. Next time, if they know that you have no flash, they're just gonna jump on you. Try something here. Nah, man, I'm not gonna flash it. I wanted to flash it this time. I could have run this way. I wanted to flash in this bush, but then Leona surprised me. I wanted to do the trick. Ah, it's fine. We still won. We still won, and it's just a couple more mere minutes until we end the game. I just prolonged it a lot by giving the shutdown to. Ooh, who did I give it the shutdown? Leona. Okay, it's to the support of all people. Now, that's something that I hate if you see a support getting 1,000 1, bounty, especially if it's not a Senna support or brand or someone that can massively carry. It's actually hilarious because Leona will just become tankier and not do anything else. And that's why you should let your ADC and mid laner get those kind of bounties. And Varus.
virus is dead. The virus is still dead. I'm following this. Why did she back off? Jesus. But it's okay, I guess. And I'm not missing cannons. Check that out. Surprisingly, I should, but I'm not because I'm so focused right now. It's actually fun. Okay. Now, I didn't buy many vision words, I bought like two. Okay. You could get more though. This guy is so dead. I'm gonna tank like 40 tower shots. That's not a rough estimate, but <laughs> it's more than one, so we gotta calculate. I didn't put option order, okay. The normal one, sorry. Okay, so have you understood what I'm trying to say by playing Tilia bot? Should we discuss something? Should we discuss macro? When to roam actually is Tilia bot? Well, can roam whenever it's possible, like when recalling from mid lane and your wave is not crashing into your tower. I mean, when you recall, and then you are level 6 and you feel like you could gank and you don't lose a tower or stuff like that. Okay, I got both kills. That was cool. That was very cool. And so you can go ultimate with, with your support, maybe you got the pike, you got. No, not the pike, you got the Nautilus with Moby Boots, something like that. You can easily actually roam and kill people. And I'm not dealing enough damage. I'm silenced. And now the game goes longer because we died again. But I like to say, I kind of like that the game goes more. Because I can talk a little bit more about it now. They start to build magic resistance. I said one, two, three items. It does not for some reason. And now we're gonna start leading our team. Now, on micro, all you gotta do is understand when to hit the combo. If you miss the combo, as a Tulia main, you don't have auto attacks as an ADC. You're gonna probably die. You're gonna probably lose a trade if you miss that. So focus on the main thing as hitting your combo on micro. Combo, you know what I mean by combo, WQ combo. Why is Blitzcrank no longer going there? Okay. okay. Hook! Come on, why are you so scared? Okay. Now, let's go for the Baron and end the game once and for all. Virus is 6-6 six, six, and if I... Generally, if their ADC is fed or the mid laner and it's immobile, you should try to be the assassin and kill him. Okay. Come on! Come on! Oh my god, okay. I have a siege run on top of my head, but I have heal. I think we won. I didn't get the assistant and I even flushed. It's just sad. Okay, I wanted to do Baron because I was too bored of losing another fight and wasting some more minutes. But as you can see, the stats are pretty good for this. I should push me like here, I don't know why I'm going for that hit. I did a very rushed out W there. Oops. Come on. And I don't want to kill him because he's already dead. And now we're gonna fight and lose it. I heal him as well, that's fine. Can keep the fiesta going. Okay, this surrender. That was a weird surrender. But yeah, this is the general Talia bot guide. I really hope you enjoyed. I will do probably an rank to master video on mid lane this week as well and also maybe another story I'm, I'm on fire this week i'm making tons of videos so see you next time guys and goodbye have a nice day week night wherever you are and i really hope you enjoy this kind of videos goodbye